Okay. Oh, no. Caesar. Why are you through the floor? Caesar. Come back up here. Oh, there we got you. There we go. Perfect. All right. Well, let's put on our new ghillie suit. We have a lot of fiber. Okay, let's put our armor away. Just in case something ends up happening. And we should need it. And probably repair it first. Because it costs so much hide. Let's repair these gauntlets. Now we're tra transferring over. So that when time comes. We end up dying. Which may be inevitable. I'll have somewhere... Now, what's this going to be like? Okay. Our weight is kind of reasonably low. But we could lower it. With Caesar. That will reduce our weight even more. Raptor riding. Alright, Diogenes. Let's go. Going back in here to find some more metal to mine. Diogenes! You're the only one that can make it through. Oh no, don't stop and poop there, Diogenes. We're still dying here. Ho ho ho. Oh, we made it. Now... This is going to be great for us, because we really need some stone. In addition to all this metal. I pooped. Yo, what's up, guest? Take more acid, right? <laughs> these spores for these mushrooms over here, they fill your lungs with fluid and cause you to trip, man. It is something else. All right, that might be more metal than we could possibly carry. Let's throw it back on to... Caesar. Oh, no, Caesar, come on. Pump yourself up a little bit. Need you to pump yourself up. Anthrax is a fungus or mold that grows in your lungs. Oh, do you think it's anthrax? Does anthrax cause you to trip... Ah! Now, that would be interesting. Okay, carrying this extra metal might just be too much because it's too easy to get metal here. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, anthrax is... That is one amazing, amazing life form, anthrax. Um, now, this may sound weird, but I find it to be super fascinating. It's a... Totally not a terrorist, just gonna say that. Um, it is a fungus that can basically live forever, from what I've seen. Um, and what I've read is that that thing can... Um so, a lot of anthrax scientists were apparently very concerned over global warming because they believe a great deal of anthrax exists in Russia under permafrost. And if that permafrost were to stop being permafrost, they believe um, that we would have a global anthrax problem. Because apparently it just doesn't die. Or at least it doesn't die from like age or something like that. I might have a lot of my information wrong, but... Oh, I'm on fire! I'm actually on fire! What's going on here? Ho, oh, oh, ho, how'd that happen? Oh, we're still on fire. Wow, we were actually burning. That's something else. Well... Huh. Yeah, something can grow inside of your lungs. Wow. Okay. I mean, that looks like an update. I haven't seen that one before. We, uh... Literally got set on fire. I don't know what to say there. That was something else. I ain't interested in dying today. Well, our health is in serious trouble. And not just because of the anthrax. Though that, that is a good reason to have health that's in trouble. 
We're at half health, and I don't know if we're going to make it back. So I'm going to try and reduce our stamina a little bit. And make the food drain so that we could eat another piece of meat, which heals us. That's a complicated way of saying things. I pooped. I think this is the best we're going to do right now. Diogenes looks like he's not running too fast. Okay. It's funny, some spores like an oyster mushroom can come out like a floating fog and drift around another mushroom species. Shoots the spores out at super high velocity like a cannon. Dude, mushrooms, spores, fungus, they're all so interesting. They're so interesting. All right, let's start our run. Hopefully we don't drown and die. Oh, here it is, the anthrax. Oh boy, oh boy, let's go. Acid, acid for days. Oh, we have 10 seconds of acid. Oh man, oh. Does anthrax make you poop yourself? That's the real question. Oh boy. That one was close. That was too close. <laughs> yeah, they are very interesting and strange. I agree to that. Well, these lights are hot today. <laughs> Alright, well, we're alive. So there's that. Let's see if we can't put some of our metal we got. We got a decent amount of metal. I just want to go cut wood because we're almost dead. We are almost dead. I just want to go cut wood because we are almost dead. Oh, that only gave us 15. All right, well. All right, let's go cut wood. Algae microorganisms are neat too. Recovering files, what kind of files were you recovering? Obviously important ones. Oh, that almost killed us. Oh, there's a max level dino nearby. Is it you? Level 24? Is it you, the level 45? I don't think it's level 45. At least in the best way we can. Oh, those are raptors. Those are raptors, and we have no health. We have no health. Those are raptors. Don't follow us. Don't chase us. We really don't want anything to do with you. some water, so that's good. We almost going to level up again? That's too much, man. Well, we can cut wood while we're out here, so that's cool. Ooh, I wonder what happened to our metal hatchet. We just got this thing today. This morning, not even like 23 minutes ago. What are you? Level one raptor? Alright, yeah, sure. Oh, two level one raptors. Oh boy, Diogenes. Mess him up, Diogenes. There you go. Brutal. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, let's level up. Probably our health again, because this, this whole getting hurt thing sucks. There are battles between microorganisms in a pond that you need a microscope to see. That is cool, my friend. That is 
really cool. I mean, just think about all the things. You know, there are battles between microorganisms on your skin at any given time. Bro, there are crazy things going on in this world. Crazy things. It is hard to comprehend sometimes. Then the amazing thing is that we stop being able to understand that. Like, we get so focused on the small stuff, or the bigger picture, that the small things get away from us. I don't know. It's... Look at that tech parasaur. He looks cool. Yeah, I know. Eye candy tech parasaur. Look at that guy. Should we tame him just for the eye candy? I think we could if we wanted to. Ah. Yes, that is the same can of monster that I was drinking yesterday. Yeah, let's go get eye candy, bro. That's that's a good plan. Dude, it is a fun game. I love this game. I'm trying to stream this to get up um, a following that watches me play Ark so I can play Ark when Ark 2 comes out. Arc 2 is coming out sometime, I don't know, this year, maybe next year, but if I get 20, 30, 40, 50 videos of Arc, mm, we're going to be able to play Arc 2 all we want. We want to play all the Arc 2, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, the gameplay is great, but it is... I would not recommend playing PvP, unless you're like seriously heavy PvP player. Um... Just because there's so much content to enjoy that's PvE, it's not really it's not really worth it. And you lose so much when you die. You lose so much when you die. And the PvE environment is tough enough on its own. Oh, Diogenes has trouble fighting a bulb dog. It looks like you have to aim at his head. Tell him to attack it. What is this max level dino? It's not the dire bear. It's not the tech parasaur, but Boy, that tech parasaur. Ooh. Oh. Well. He's dead. He, uh. Probably should have put Diogenes on passive. That would have been a great idea. But, um, we didn't. So, there's that. You know. It says there's a max level dino nearby. 